know it's getting annoying at this point, but once again, Victor Wimbanyama has made history. I want some rest. <laughs> Our boy Wimby is the very first rookie to win first team defensive uh, team. Or, wait, did I say first team? Defensive first team. All defensive first team. My God, I cannot speak. I'm tired today, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So obviously, Rudy Gobert, uh, Gobert he, he made it. Uh, you can see Bam Adebayo, Herb Jones, Anthony Davis. Victor Wembanyama, you know, while he didn't get Defensive Player of the Year, even though me personally, I think he he deserved it. Okay, I think he deserved it, but they didn't want to give it to him. Uh, and even players believe that he's the best defender in the in the NBA. But whatever. Uh, but he did make uh, All Defensive First Team, and he 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 deserved it. Uh, nonetheless, he deserved it. I um, mean, we're looking at second team here. I'm really glad that Jaden McDaniels is on here because he was great. Uh, this season he's been great he's still being great uh Derek white is in there uh Jalen Alex true holiday you know good, good stuff good stuff nonetheless I think that's a pretty good second team if you guys think anyone was snubbed you can let me know um I am curious to what you have to say about it um but we can see here they said defensive player of the year Rudy Gobert now uh trails barely with his seventh selection he trails Kawhi Leonard who has um eight wait that puts him in a tie. Sorry. Kawhi Leonard has seven. Sorry. He, he's tied with Kawhi. Uh, he trails Draymond Green and Chris Paul. Draymond with eight. Chris Paul with nine. Th these two are not going to get any more. And I, I think Rudy Gobert will uh, eventually surpass both of them. Uh, the tie the tie with Kawhi is kind of sad because I don't think Kawhi will ever get another one just because he barely plays um, now. But anyways, uh, just moving on. Uh, they talked about Chet Holmgren here. It says... Uh, Dort just missed a second team selection by a mere two points while his teammate Chet Holmgren, another rookie, finished 13th overall in the voting. Uh, Clipper star Kawhi Leonard was 12th in the voting, uh, while Jared Allen, SGA, Giannis, and uh, Contavious Codwell Pope were all in the mix. So, uh, man, we're just in the category of some really great defensive players here. Uh, and it's nice that we're we're seeing our boy Wimby. He's, he's going to be here every year, by the way. I, I don't know when he'll get to the point where he's out of that, but this is going to be a continuous thing. If he's doing his rookie season, he's only going to get better from this, if not just have the exact same numbers. Um, they're going to have to create up. They're going to have to create stats for Victor. Um, but what I really wanted to go over is, and I love just hearing what other players have to say about our guys. Um, and uh, at a Adebayo, I always say his name wrong, Adebayo, 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 uh, he had something to say about Wimby, so he said, coming into this league, obviously, he had high expectations because he's 7'3", why do we keep changing his height, okay, I hear 7'5", 7'4", 7, 7, 7. I, I personally say 7'5", I think he's 7'5", is it without shoes he's 7'3", is that what we're doing, I don't know, Every and, and we've already had players that were like close to 7 feet that say, yeah, he's, he's, he's taller than seven three that's bs so I don't, I don't know i don't understand that anyways um and shooting step back threes i think a lot of people paid attention more to that than what he actually did on the defensive end you know we just looked at gilbert arenas talk about that um but you know beforehand i mean before the season started we all talked about how great he is defensively but whatever uh so for him to get first team first come first come around is obviously a great accolade uh for him you know he has so much respect around the league and we we've, we've went over so many different things in which people said that they're terrified of Wimby right like like they uh, oh my god these executives they do not want to face Wimby in a few years oh we got to win right now um before it's too late like you love that type of stuff but it's just so much respect i haven't heard one person disrespect him or say like oh we're going to have to show him it. the only person really that's done it is um Oh gosh, how did I forget his name already? The the the, the short the short guy who plays for Oh my god. I'm I'm I don't know. I, I I forgot his name and it's very disrespectful for me to forget his name, but I'm happy I forgot his name. I I, I actually don't want to say. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Light skin guy, short, uh, you know, talks a lot of crap. You know, yeah, put it in the comments, whatever. I don't care. Um, but yeah, so that's the only person, and he says nonsense about everybody. He says nonsense about LeBron, nonsense about everyone. So who cares? Um, but yeah, just good stuff nonetheless. Also, if you guys didn't know, here it is. It says all defensive first team as a rookie. The league announced the team 
on uh, teams on Tuesday and Wimbanyama appeared on 98 of the 99 ballots. No idea who didn't give the, give him the nod. Um, and then Rudy Gobert was the only unanimous selection. So, um, but good, great stuff, man. Great stuff from Wimby. And you know, it's only it's only up from here. It's only up from here. This is a weird. Where are they? Are they watching a movie? Where are they? I see Zach Collins, Trey Jones, City Sissoko. Where are they here? San Antonio Spurs Victor Wanderer Center watches videos with local children before receiving the 2023-24 NBA Rookie of the Year trophy. Ah, gotcha. Strange. Anyways, I will get with you guys later, man. Until next time, bye, bye, bye.